Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, we'll talk about XREFs in BricsCAD. So, let's get started. So, XREFs or external references are kind of like data links. So, you can insert external files, point clouds, PDFs, and even images in your drawing as an XREF and these XREFs will be added as link. So basically, when you include an XREF in a drawing, its file size won't increase, but still you can see the drawing inside your main file and you can even make modifications right in the main file or even in the current drawing. Now to explain this thing in detail, I have created a few files here. So I'll just minimize this just to show you what files I have here. So I've got a floor plan and right now this flow plan is open here. So that's the main file which is on my desktop. Apart from that, I've got a folder here, BricsCAD XREF. And if I open this, you can see that I have three other DWG files right inside this. I have East Elevation, East West Section and Front Elevation. Okay, and I have a folder called Other XREF in which I have a PDF and an image file, which is a PNG image in this case. All right, so these are the things that I have. Now I will use these things as an XREF and we'll make some modifications too. So let's first start with this floor plan, which is open right here. Now let's insert an XREF. And to do that, you need to go to this insert tab. And here we have the references panel. On this, I'll select attach XREF. Now just locate the file. So in this case, my file is in BricsCAD XREF folder, which is on desktop. So it's already on the desktop. So I'm going to double click here and I'll select one of these files. In this case, I'll just select East Elevation. That's the file which I'll start with East Elevation and then open. Okay, here we are. Now this insert window will show up, which is kind of like the insert blog window, but there are several new things here. Actually two new things that I want to highlight here. The first one is path type. And the second one is reference type. So right now, relative path is selected, but you can choose from any of these three path types. Let's start with full path. And when you select full path, BricsCAD will remember the entire path of your file. So right now, as you can see, this file is currently saved on this location. So the file which I'm inserting right now, East Elevation is saved here. So BricsCAD will just remember this file path. Now that's full path. Okay. The second one is relative path. And when you select relative path, BricsCAD will remember the path type with respect to the main file. And in this case, the main file is this floor plan or the host file. So it will start looking for that file outward. So floor plan is the main file. And if I just cancel this out and if I show you the location here with respect to this, so here is the floor plan. And with respect to floor plan, the file is in the same folder, which happens to be the desktop. So it will go to this folder from desktop and there it will find this file. So the path is desktop and then BricsCAD XREF. So that's what BricsCAD will look for when you select relative path. Let's go to this again. So attach XREF and I'll select East Elevation, open, and that's the file path we have here. So BricsCAD XREF, that's the name of folder and then it will look for the file right inside that folder which is here. So that's the only path it will remember. It won't remember the entire drive letter and all the other string of characters. So this relative path is much better as it will avoid all the other unnecessary things in the path type. Now, if you are wondering which one you should use, then my recommendation is, well, you should go with relative path. As long as possible, just use this relative path. Because if you use relative path, then BricsCAD will be able to insert the XREFs even when you change the drive letters or some other things in the path which is not included here. And BricsCAD will be able to resolve everything. It will just insert the XREF. Now, if however you select full path, then it will look for every single folder here kind of like this. And if you change anything from this last file to the first one, anything, if anything changes, then BricsCAD won't be able to just locate your file. So that's why it's always recommended to select the relative path. 
Then we have no path option as well. When you select no path, BrickSCAD will just look for the folder in which you have the host file. So it will just look for the XREF in the host folder, which happens to be desktop in this case. So it's the option which you should always try and avoid. So relative path is the option you should go for always. So I'll select relative path. Now about external reference type, there are two types of references here, attachment and overlay. When you select attachment, BrickSCAD will attach the XREFs as well as all the XREFs which are nested in your attachment. What I'm trying to say here is if you have East Elevation which you are just attaching here and if you have other XREFs inserted inside East Elevation then choosing attachment will just insert every other nested XREF as well. So it will not only insert East Elevation but all the other XREFs which are inserted in East Elevation. If however you select overlay then BricsCAD will just ignore all the nested XREFs and it will insert your top level XREF. So that's the difference between attachment and overlay. Now this setting it just completely depends on your requirement. If, now if you just want to insert all the XREFs you can go with attachment and overlay if you just want to insert the top level XREF. In most of the situations overlay is just fine and it also helps you avoid the circular references where somehow you end up attaching the main file because it's nested. So if this is making sense so it it's a thing which you can select if you are not sure which one to use. So overlay something you can use. So in this case I'll just keep overlay selected here and then we have several other options like insertion point, the scale and rotation angle. I'll keep this insertion point checked so that we can specify it somewhere in the drawing area. If you can select scale and you can just change it here and you can also specify rotation angle. But I'm not going to change any of these settings and with that I'll click OK. Now I'll insert this east elevation just here and we have an XREF here. Now let's add one more XREF. So I'll go to attach and this time I'll select front elevation, open. Now you know the settings, relative path. In this case I'll again go with overlay, OK and here we are. So now we have two XREFs in our drawing. Now let's see how we can manage this. So as I mentioned in the beginning, these XREFs are just data links. They are just added here in this drawing file as a link. It's not really in the drawing. And if you modify the original file, these things will modify as well. So let's see how we can just modify this. But first I'll save it. And then I'm gonna go to the folder in which I have these files, which is this one. And I'll open this one. All right, so here we are. Now I'll make some changes here and uh, just to keep things simple, I'll only delete these dimensions. All right, and now let's save it. So I'll save the file and I'll close this tab. There we are. Now these dimensions should automatically disappear, but well, that's not gonna happen automatically. You can, however, refresh it. Sometimes you'll see a pop-up bubble here, right here. But in this case, I don't have any pop-up bubbles. So I'll just go to this attachments and here we just need to select the XREF which is now different. So in this case East Elevation is changed and we just want to refresh it. So you can just select this East Elevation, right click and select reload. So that's going to reload the new version of this XREF and here we are, we no longer have the dimensions. So now this XREF is updated. So if you make changes in the original file, it will reflect these changes here in the main drawing as well, where you have attached your drawing. Now that's not the only way you can modify your XREF. You can directly modify your XREF from here as well. You don't even need to go to your drawing file. Now if you want to open any XREF from here, all you need to do is just select this open XREF option select the drawing file and there we are it will just open the tab so you don't need to look up for the folder where these things are saved and here also we can just do the same thing so maybe I'll just delete these dimensions once again in this situation as well so I'll just go with the dimensions only and delete once again let's save it close it and you know what to do so here if you just want to see the changes go to attachment and refresh it so I'll just go to reload and there we are, the changes are now visible here.
Now that's not the only thing you can do here. There are several other things you can do with this attachment tab. So I'll just go to this East Elevation now. And the first thing that you can do is, well, you can hide these XREFs. Now, if you don't want to just show these XREF for some reason, then click on this and unload it. So you can click this checkbox to unload these XREFs. Clicking it again will bring this XREF back in your drawing. So it will just reload it. Alternatively, you can right click here and select unload and reload option. Now, if you want to attach more references, more copies of this references, then you can right click and select attach again. And this will show you the same attach external reference option. Click OK and you can attach even more copies. I'm not going to do that. So I'll just press escape key. Now, you can also delete these XREFs completely and that option is called detach. When you detach an XREF, it will completely remove its link from your drawing file. So I'll just select detach here and there we are. Now the XREF is completely gone. It's no longer available in the attachment list as well. So that's how you can detach it. Now let's press Control Z to bring it back in the drawing area. And let's see what else we have here. So I'll select this XREF again, and then we have an option of binding and inserting it. We'll get to that in a moment, but then the next option is path type. Right now, we have the relative path as the selected path. If you want to change it to absolute path, then select absolute path and the path type will change to absolute where the folder directory letter and everything will be included. You can change it back to relative path here if you want. Now, Let's see what the bind option is. And for that, I'll go to East Elevation. Now using bind option, you can permanently insert an XREF in the current drawing. As you know, this is just a data link. This file is linked with the original one. And if you make any changes in the original file, it's going to update it here as well. Now, if you want to break that link and if you want to bring it right inside this main flow plan drawing file, then you can bind it. So I'll right click here and I'll select bind. You can also use insert. There is a small difference between these two options, bind and insert. Just for this example, let's assume that these two are exactly the same. So if you select bind or insert, it will just bind your drawing. So now this entire thing is converted into a block reference and it is inserted in your drawing file. You no longer have that as an attachment and there is no data link. You can also click here and select insert and the result will be almost the same. So here also it's attached as a block reference and no, we no longer have that attachment. So that's how you can bind these things. And once you've got it here, you can even explode it if you want to, if you just want to see all these things as separate entities. All right, now let's see how you can attach images and PDFs. So attaching these two things are also very easy. So you can attach PDFs from this PDF option and you can attach images from this images option. So from this images panel. Alternatively, you can also go to this attachment and here you can select attach PDF and attach image. You can also attach point cloud and here we also have point cloud panel. So in this case, let's start with attaching PDF. So I'll just go to this attach PDF here. Now locate the PDF file. So in this case, I'll go to desktop, Brickscat XREF, other XREF, and this PDF. Open with the same setting. I'll click OK. And I'll just specify a location for this one, maybe here. And there we are, we've got the attachment here. And as you can see, we have a clean PDF here attached as an XREF, and that XREF will show up here as well. Now you can also change its location if it doesn't look good. So I'll just select this and using move tool, I'll just maybe move it right here. Now we have a better XREF here. So that's how you can attach it. Now attaching an image is exactly the same. So in this case, let's not attach image from here. Rather, I'll go to insert and I'll select attach raster image and other XREF and we have the PNG open. We have the similar set of options here. Okay. And once again, you can just specify a point, insertion point. And now the second option is size of this. So if you just want to increase the size, which in this case we need to, as you can see, then you can do that using a scale. Right now it's very tiny. You can zoom in to see this thing. But in this case, I'll just increase its size. So increasing the size is easy. Go to home, 
select scale option which is the usually scale option select your image enter and specify a scale factor so i'll just click at a point you can also use your cursor to increase the size or just add a scale factor of like 20 30 whatever the scale factor will look normal here in this case i'll just use this mouse and i'll just eyeball it there we are and that's our attached image so that's how you can attach it and as you can see these attachments will also show here so we've got the flow plan and this source card icon and these two are also attachments so that's the basics of external reference and that's how you can insert dwgs pdfs and images in your bricks cat drawing as an xref and you can just make changes as well directly using the main file or you can just go to the file from this external reference panel as well so that was all about the basics of xref in BricsCAD. if you have questions let me know in the comments below and i'll see you soon in another video